Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, welcome to Multiply Monday. Thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. We're going to quickly look back at last week's yes. life group mm -hmm. session. We are still in the Multiply material by Francis Chan. So hopefully um, you are following along with us, either in the mobile Multiply app for free if you're not able to uh -huh. Uh, join us in person, um, or also along with um, one of the Multiply books we've got right here. Look at this. We have them available on Sunday mm -hmm. at a special price of $10. Okay, those are those are just for you. So um, hopefully you are enjoying this study. Yes. Because last week, what did we talk about last week? Last week we talked about the fall. Okay. So uh, the first week we talked about creation like that, right? and how Adam yeah. and Eve uh, were made in God's image. Right. And how yeah. God called everything out of nothing, and then he stooped into the dust and formed Adam with his own hands right. and breathed the breath of life into him. And how amazing that was. But then very quickly things started to unravel, right. at least in, in the story. Yeah. It does. We don't know exactly how long Adam and Eve spent in paradise, Right. but Adam and Eve made this one choice. Mm -hmm. God gave them one command. He said, don't eat from this tree, this single tree. Everything else in the garden belongs to you. Everything else is yours for food. Uh, but don't eat from this one tree. But Eve was deceived right. by the serpent. And she disobeyed God and she gave some to Adam and he ate also. Right. And the men and I, we, we talked about like when you're a kid, your parents tell you don't do one thing. Well, it's just the rebellion in us. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> we're going to end up doing that one thing. Yeah. And that's sort of what mm -hmm. happened with Eve and with, with Adam. Like you have everything here. Mm -hmm. Eat of anything except this one tree. And it's really easy to minimize right. that choice, isn't it? Because sure. we look at it, especially in the story, it's we read it aloud in the ladies' group. It's like six verses or something where it describes right. this whole encounter between uh, Satan and Eve and Adam. Yeah. And I think it's easy for us to pretend like, oh, well, it wasn't really that big of a deal. They just mm -hmm. they just ate this apple or pomegranate or whatever you think right. it was. Right. But it was a big deal, wasn't it? It was a big deal. We, we like to gloss over um, our own mistakes, our own mm -hmm. sin. We like to, ah, it's just a mistake. It's no big deal. And uh, But really, I like to call it cosmic treason because Adam and Eve's sin, our sin, we are rebelling against the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. We're rebelling against his design, against his plans, against his commands. And so this was a very, very serious thing that happened. It wasn't just, uh, it changed things a little bit. No, it upended all of creation, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's why it's so important for us to do the fall week after we spend time meditating on creation. That's why they spent a whole week right. uh, covering that in the material. Because last week, we really spent a lot of time just in awe of God's absolute authority. Right. over all creation, and yet we have the arrogance to think that we can rebel against that authority, sure. to think that we can ignore God's commands and have things our way. Right. And so in creation, we saw God's um, creation of how he intended it to be, how he intended life to be yeah. pure and holy and in proper relationship with him. And then we see man's rebellion, which mm -hmm. we call the fall. If you're not in the church, but that's what we call mm -hmm. We call the, the fall of man when man rebelled against God. And we see the fallout of this. And we even, mm -hmm. this is part of our lesson. We talked about how we see this pattern of rebellion yes. with, with humans, mm -hmm. men, women alike. We see this pattern of rebellion and the consequences mm -hmm. of it. And if you're following along in the Bible reading plan, that really all takes place in Genesis chapters 4 through 11. Right. You see the consequences that sin has wrought on this world that God has made in the stories of Cain and Abel mm -hmm. and Noah and the Tower of Babel. And so if you haven't right. read those stories, I encourage you to go back to God's Word and check those things out, especially if you're unfamiliar with them. Right. But, a murder, a boat, and a tower. It sounds yeah, like really, a, sounds we like really a novel. We really descended into it? evil, though. I mean, God <laughs> right. was sorry that He made us. And then when He started over with Adam, with Noah, right. then we still sinned against God. We still had this prideful mm -hmm. way of thinking that we could live without him, which is what the story of the Tower of Babel is all about, about man's right. pride and arrogance. Yeah, but I want, I want to go back to the garden real quick. Yeah. Okay, because we see a snapshot of God's goodness. We see a snapshot of his grace. Mm -hmm. um, Adam and Eve were naked. They didn't even know it. So imagine that. You've had those nightmares of showing up to school naked and nobody seems to notice except you. Like, what is happening? Okay, I don't know. Ask a professional. Okay. But we see here that God covered them. They covered them in their shame. And so something had to die yeah. for Adam and Eve to have clothing. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the leaves weren't going to cut it anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. um, something had to die for them to be covered in the rebellion and their sin. So that's a snapshot of what would happen to Jesus yes. many, many years later mm -hmm. of Jesus surrendering his own life mm -hmm. and him covering our sins with, with his life. His and it's even life. in this story that we get the first promise that there's going to be someone to yes. come and save us from our sin, yes. right? God told the serpent mm -hmm. when he cursed the serpent. And um, when Eve and, and Adam fell under the curse for their sin also, mm -hmm. he said, there's going to be someone that comes yes. from this woman's line and yeah. you're going to bruise his heel, but he's going to crush your head. Yeah. And we know now that that person is Jesus. Yeah. And so we see this even here at the very beginning, this looking forward to this mm -hmm. plan of Jesus. Yeah. Okay. And so God is always calling people to himself. We see mercy and grace mm -hmm. towards Adam and Eve. We see it in Noah. Mm -hmm. God started over. Yeah. The sin of the world, I mean, he like he just wrecked the world. Mm -hmm. And so God is always calling someone to himself, a people, yes. because he desires a relationship with us. Mm -hmm. And there's a plan in place in scripture, and we see it. We see it unfolding. And this week we're going to see it continue to unfold yeah. as we talk about Abraham. God calling Abraham mm -hmm. and choosing Abraham mm -hmm. um, to be really a father of faith for, for many, many people, the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. And, and we see that. So that's where we're going this week. Yeah, and even if you're very familiar with the story of Abraham, I think you'll be challenged by this chapter. I think you'll enjoy it because there's a part of this chapter where it talks about how even in making this covenantal promise mm -hmm. with Abraham, there are some pictures that we get yes. of what Jesus would do for us and, and the faithful nature of God and how he does for us what we are unable to do for ourselves. And so I encourage you to read uh, chapter three of section four mm. as you prepare for this uh, week at our home on Wednesday night. Or if you're following along, we'll be back next yeah. Monday with another video about that chapter. Yeah. So guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, just keep up with us. Bible reading plan, mobile multiply. Thanks for joining us. Once you, if you want, got some comments of something you're learning. Yeah, drop them below. Man, drop. Look at that. Look at that. We're like professional <laughs> web people. Look at they call that web people. <laughs> yes, yeah, I think like, that's it. It's <laughs> real Aquaman. Thing. I don't know. Anyway. But thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Um, hey, let's continue to go together. God bless you.